Okay, so who is actually involved in the process of buying or selling uh, an investment property? I think it's probably easier for me to explain this in the context of buying one initially. Uh, most of the people that are watching this video will be looking at acquiring uh, their next or their first even investment property. So I think the first thing to say is there will always be a buyer, which may well be you, uh, and a seller in the equation, someone who is selling that property to you. Now, that uh, seller may be a physical person, a, a, an owner of that property, or they may well be a developer if we're looking at a new build property. The chances are your first interaction with anyone who is vending the property will actually be through a sales agent. A sales agent or real estate agent is someone who is there to help maximize the appeal of that property on behalf of the seller. Um, they'll also be helping to negotiate the, um, uh, the fee that you pay to purchase the property and to make sure that the conveyancing process, which I'll touch on in just a second, uh, goes very smoothly. It's important to mention that there may be wiggle room in the price of a property and often prices are listed um, with the idea that offers will be solicited as well. But it is very important, particularly if we're dealing with individuals as the um, sellers of a property to be respectful. Um, so the next thing is uh, a mortgage broker. Once we found our perfect investment property, and again, that might be through an individual seller or a developer, the next thing is to start thinking about how we're actually going to buy it. If you're a cash buyer, then you won't need to involve the services of a mortgage broker. But if you want to finance the property, which is typically how we buy property here in the UK, um, you may want to service uh, the, the property using a mortgage broker. A broker is there really to advise you on what the best mortgage products are, what the best rates are, what the best terms are, which banks will be, will be willing to lend to you, um, and so on and so forth. We think it's very important whenever you're looking at uh, leveraging or getting a mortgage to speak to an expert with regards to what will be right for you. Um, at that point. The next thing is the mortgage broker will be working on behalf of a lender. A lender may be a high street bank, it may be a more specialist form of lending, particularly if you're looking at using a limited company structure. Um, and they will be the people that are actually giving you the money to buy that property. The next party that you'll involve is uh, solicitors, and there's actually a number of solicitors that will be involved. The buy side, and they will represent you in the transaction. The sell side, and they'll represent the seller in the transaction. And every now and again, you'll also have a solicitor for the lender as well, who will look at the, um, the, the agreement um, to buy the property. You may, as part of that conveyancing process, and again, when we talk about conveyancing, it's just the legal term for the process of buying an investment property, you may want a valuation done or a surveyor done. There are lots of different surveys that you can have done, not always necessary if you're looking at buying a new build because they'll likely be covered by guarantees, but very important if you're buying a more uh, a more dated property, secondary market property. These can be done either on your behalf or on behalf of the mortgage lender. The mortgage lender will more likely than not want to do a survey to ensure that the property is worth what you've agreed and the seller has agreed to buy and sell the property to you at. And then once the legal process is concluded and you've got the keys, you may want to start thinking about ancillary services, things like furniture packs. Furniture can often make property a lot more desirable to a tenant. Uh, you may want to involve a lettings agent if the property is quite far from where you live. They're people that will help you to um, get a good price in terms of rent for the property. And you may also want to involve an insurance company as well or an insurance broker to ensure that you have uh, the relevant homes, contents, uh, income protection and landlord's insurance as well. Now naturally if you've enrolled on one of our packages we'll be able to help all of this, help, help you navigate what can feel like uh, sometimes a um, a difficult process, uh, but these are the steps. So buyer, seller, uh, agent or developer, mortgage broker who will work on behalf of a lender, the buyer's solicitor, seller solicitor, uh, lender's solicitor as well if you're getting a mortgage, uh, valuations or surveys done by a surveyor, and of course um, the ancillary services as well. So furniture packs, uh, lettings agents uh, and insurance companies or brokers. They're all the parties that you need, everyone who will be involved um, in the process of helping you acquire the property.